Hi there. Our family recently returned from a long trip, and if you've ever taken a long trip, especially with children, you know that one of the questions that you often hear coming from the back seats is, are we there yet? How long is this trip going to take? We've all experienced, I think, that situation. But in a much more serious way, our Psalm for the week, Psalm 13, deals with this question that many people face in their lives. How long? One commentator said that this psalm speaks about the deserted soul's case and cure. And that's how we feel sometimes, as if God has deserted us. Does he remember us? Does he really know what's happening in our lives? Especially when the situation goes on and on. You know, I can run a marathon pace, a two-hour marathon pace like Iliad Kipchoge, but I can only run it for a few minutes, not for a whole marathon. And often when people are in trouble or suffering, it's this question, how long? And so that's the heart of Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and every day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes or I'll sleep in death. My enemy will say I've overcome him. My foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. So the deserted soul's case and cure. What do you do when you are in a situation that just keeps going on and on and there's no end in sight and you have those thoughts? that God may have forgotten you. Well, the best thing that we can do, obviously, is look to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it was on the cross that Christ, for his people, really experienced God's face turning away from him. When he suffered in the place of his people and took the guilt and penalty of our sin upon himself. When he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And because of that, because of God's salvation in Jesus Christ, we believe, according to the promises of Scripture, that God will never leave us or forsake us. In Isaiah 49, we read that the people of God complain that God had forgotten them. And God answers and says, Can a mother forget her nursing child? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraven you on the palms of my hands. God will never forget. And so in those situations where you may be wrestling, maybe it's external circumstances, like in the psalm, how long uh, will my enemy uh, afflict me and trouble me? Whether it's those internal things, how long uh, must I wrestle with my thoughts and every day have sorrow in my heart. We need to think of God's faithfulness, his covenant faithfulness in Jesus Christ. Uh, the enemy thought he had triumphed in death over Jesus Christ, but on the third day he rose again from the dead and he's the first fruits of all those who trust in him. We need to put our suffering into the way scale and our lives and time itself into the way scale of eternity. The way that the Apostle Paul does in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 when he says, and he's not diminishing trouble, but he's putting it in perspective when he says, for our light and momentary afflictions are not worthy to be compared to the eternal glory that will far outweigh them all. And so when you're asking those how long questions, may God give you the grace to respond the way that the psalmist does when he says there at the end of the psalm, but I trust in your unfailing love. 
My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. Uh, what a wonderful response to trouble, no matter how long it is, when we can respond in faith, in joy, in worship, and in gratitude. And that's only possible, friends, uh, in light of God's salvation in his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you as you consider Psalm 13.